attention to that. Well, if, sure, they, they were gone. I mean, my life was cleared out. I'll never forget the people who stood by me. Do you know what I mean? Were the men? Yeah, most of them. said well, she's a bit contaminated in there, but... Yeah, and yeah. then try to come back to you then sort of in January when it was announced that it was wrong, it was illegal, and there were no grounds for doing it and all that. And yeah. yeah. um, you ultimately, you didn't, you didn't sue the state initially. No. For that breach of privacy of the mm. You did about two years, two years, two years later. Mm. Why? Um, Bruce Arnold was very keen to sue the state immediately. Uh, I didn't want to do it. I just sort of said, well, this is on you go. This is part of the rough and tumble of politics. You know, give it and you must take it, right? Um, what made me change my mind was about a year later, uh, some of the transcripts were published in the Sunday Independent and an interpretation was put on them. And names, this must be so and so and all that sort of thing. And I then suddenly realised what a vulnerable position that I was in, that I could be blackguarded for the rest of my life with transcripts, true or false, coming from here, there and everywhere. So at that stage, I went to take a legal action just to put a stop to it and see what was there. And the state fought it? Uh, Initially? The you had to give evidence in the case? Oh, I did, yeah. yeah. So they it went right up to the court? They did, yeah. And they fought and they ultimately said, I think, is that it? The, uh, we won the case. We won the case. We won the case. And um, uh, Mary Robinson, Hugh O'Flaherty and James O'Reilly were on our side. And uh, Jeremy Gleeson, Michael McJewell, I think, were on the other. Yeah. And we won the case. Yeah. And it's one of the leading cases now on the question of uh, privacy and breaches That's right. of privacy. It had another side effect. Your husband got his first look at you in the witness box during that case. <laughs> so I was to learn years later. <laughs> Tell us about it. Um, well, he said, I, I met my um, husband, D David Hegarty, David Hegarty in 1987. Yeah, it's seven. Yeah. And um, uh, he, he then said to me that he had been in the court for that um, case yeah. and had seen me. Yeah. And kept saying, kept saying, I didn't know me from Adam, kept saying, I know what she'd mean to say, but she's not saying it the right way and all this sort of thing. Yeah. But he also says it was love at first sight. Oh, did Some he? get to know you. <laughs> How did you go about getting to know each other then? What? How did you go about getting to know each other then? Um, when I, I, if you go on to 1987, we got the I got the judgment in the phone tapping case in January 1987, and then uh, an election was called, and it was sort of a watershed and landmark thing in my life that that was all over and done with and put to bed, and I had been asked by different political parties over the pre previous years to know would I uh, run for politics and all that, and I always declined. And at this stage, I said to myself, this would be a bad time. And the PDs had been established as a new party, and uh, I decided that I'd run for them. Now, that's a big decision. Who, who asked you to run for PDs? Uh, Mary Harney asked me, um, and asked me would I meet as a man. Yeah, and did you ask you? Yeah. And you were given, you gave up journalism? I had to. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I resigned. But why did you give up journalism? I gave up. Because you'd be the passion of your life, the journalism. I know that, but, but you couldn't be uh, an independent journalist and no, no, be a I, member of party. No, I understand why you had yeah. to give up journalism yeah, when yeah. you went and decided to go to politics, but oh, yeah. why did you decide to go to politics? I decided to go into politics because I had been for, I was trying to explain that to you now, I must be doing it badly. Uh, for the previous few years, I had been in a difficult position where I was reporting on politics and I was report 